All right, so um, today we'll talk about the GDPR, uh, the new regulations from the European Union. Obviously, you guys know the European Union loves regulations uh, and they're coming up with all these different things. Um, it makes sense for some people, it doesn't make sense for other people, but it does affect our industry when we're talking about digital marketing, when we're talking about e-commerce and the different ways that um, we do lead generation, it does affect most of our clients. So we're going to talk about that. So GDPR stands for General Data Protection Regulation. Um, the reason I think the European Union went with something like this is that they wanted to um, protect the privacy um, of the smaller companies because a lot of the information like email, name, last name, uh, phone number of a lot of businesses are out there and they want to protect this information digitally. What that means is mostly uh, I mean, the most important effect for us is that you cannot send cold emails anymore. You cannot do cold outreach anymore. So all these companies like Constant Contact, MailChimp, MailGun, Amazon SES are being affected. As a matter of fact, uh, MailChimp is in the business of uh, email marketing. And I believe it was a few weeks ago that they uh, released a direct mail marketing platform and a service, which means that they're kind of freaking out. What do you guys think about this? Let's talk about um, is GDPR really necessary in your opinion? Um, so I think uh, I think yes, to an extent, um, someone has to protect people's privacy. Obviously, um, there has to be some sort of balance between what a business can do and what what they can't do. Uh, some sort of a line to protect, you know, uh, because I, I think this is directly mostly at the huge uh, tech companies that really gather all this information and at some point they have more power than governments, even mm -hmm. they have more information than governments, at some point you have to draw a line and I think that's where it came from. I think it came from the political climate in Europe and as you said, they love regulation. It's not just the regulators, it's actually the, the political climate there that is very for mm -hmm. regulations. So you think that this was geared mostly towards larger companies like Google and Facebook, etc. But it's going to end up affecting small to medium sized businesses because they cannot really do email cold outreach anymore. And you know, if we think about how many people actually do that, right? In our industry, we know a lot of people do that, but a restaurant is not really doing cold email outreach. Email outreach is done by people who are trying to generate leads, marketers, digital marketers. And I think smaller guys got affected by this most. What do you think, Joe? Yeah, um, I, I think that uh, definitely the regulation was put into place to go after the larger com larger tech companies. Um, however, you know, smaller companies are going to get affected, um, you know, all the way from, you know, small, medium sized businesses that are, uh, you know, B2B facing and uh, as well as those that are B2C. Um, it's gonna, you know, even those small little B to uh, B to C companies, e-commerce companies, trying to, you know, increase their subscription or their mailing list. No more opt-out forms, only opt-in. You know, little things like that. It's definitely gonna affect smaller companies moving forward. Okay, so I think in our instance, it's affecting two different parts of our business. One is our clients who do B to B lead generation, and our e-commerce clients. So those are the to that that it's affecting now the penalties are nuts you know two to four percent of yeah. your revenue your global revenue your global yeah. revenue uh so nobody can really afford is it really enforceable if i send a cold email to a european company and they complain are they gonna come after optimum seven is it internationally is enforceable? it is it worth the risk i mean no, you know it, yeah with <laughs> the law that you do you want to risk Two to four percent of your. Yeah, um, I think it's mostly this. The the penalties has so much teeth mm -hmm. that I think it's mostly they're hoping that that alone will deter people from doing mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they have the the resources to really yeah. enforce. Again, I, I don't know what type of or what measures they have in place to kind of try to actually reprimand these companies who mm -hmm. you know who go out and do this. But um, it, it's I think, certainly frightening for them. I think they're going to do it kind of how California is doing with Prop 65. They're basically saying anybody can complain, any lawyer can sue, and they'll take a cut. Mm -hmm. So that's how Prop 65 is being enforced by California right now. 
I think they could enforce this the same way, but we don't see yeah. uh, we don't see any proof or I haven't seen any yeah. lawsuits just yet. Well, definitely yeah. against the big tech companies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Google got a very hefty penalty just a few months ago. Correct. Um, it remains to be seen if they're going to come after small and medium-sized companies as well.